FOMO, ladies and gentlemen, FOMO, this is what they call fear of missing out. <laughs> I, I only realized this a few days ago, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm an old man, I'm a dad, do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know all of these, you know, abbreviations and whatnot that the new generation is talking about, but FOMO, FOMO in regards to Antonio Nusa, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, welcome back to the other side of the point. Let's get cracking into the latest news in terms of transfers, Chelsea transfers, and it's coming from Chelsea Transfer as well. If you're not following this particular account, make sure you do. This is the latest in regards to Antonio Nusa. It's 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 like as Drug Baba, as some of you guys probably know, Drug Baba. It's like Drug Baba says. You know, right now it's somewhat of a feeling like of a Pokemon. You know, you got to catch them all. Got to catch them all, Pokemon. Chelsea have maintained an interest to sign 18-year-old winger Antonio Nusa, but would have to work hard to overtake Tottenham in the race to sign him. Club Bruges want 25 million and to keep him on loan for the rest of the season. So look. <laughs> What do I even say about this? How can I even be upset? How can I even be annoyed about this? There are accounts. I kid you not. There are literally accounts, and I'm going to showcase to you very, very soon, that are upset about this situation, that are saying that, oh, my God, if we miss out on this player, then it's the end of the world. Close the club, you know, liquidate it, and, you know, let's just move on. This is mad. This has become a sickness, an absolute sickness at the moment. Look. Antonio Nusa, I have not watched him enough to, you know, form an opinion. I don't know how, how much you guys have watched him, how many people actually go out there and watch Club Bruges. I am not certain. But one thing's for certainty, Chelsea have been linked with him last summer. Uh, I think they, they were going to pay something ridiculous to get this particular player. And now all of a sudden Tottenham has come into the frame. Look, I, I would probably get excited about this type of youth you know, youthful player and youth project, you know, phenomenon that we're doing at the moment, I would get behind it. I would get excited if this was our first player, you know, at the age of 18, 19, whatever, 20. This isn't our first player. We literally have a catalogue of this type of players. Now, you can say, oh, he's better than most of them. But don't forget, we've got Kendry Paez. We're still looking at... Uh, Willian, uh, Estevar Willian. We've got Noni Medueke, who some of you may not rate. We've got Mudrik. We've got so many young players. Angelo Gabriel. Like, where does it stop? It, 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 if this isn't another clear proof what our owners and our board are trying to do, because they've seen a clear opportunity that in football you can do human trafficking. That's what they've seen, that you can get exorbitant amount of money by by getting these young players as soon as you can and then selling them off. They've seen what Dortmund have done. They've seen what Brighton have done. They've seen what Ajax have done. And, you know, these owners have got a hard-on. They really do. They've got an absolute hard-on, and they think that this is a great way of opening up a new stream of income. For me, look, I, 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 I can't get upset because right now Chelsea Football Club can't entertain... A, a, a situation like Antonio Nusa, they really can't. We've got we've got to rectify our club. Right now, Maurizio Pochettino doesn't need another young player. He needs experience. We need some level of know-how in the squad who can compete at the highest level. These players, they'll take time. They're kids. They're kids. They'll take time. Pochettino don't need more kids. He's already struggling with the kids that we have. Some people are saying, but that's what Pochettino was brought in for, to develop the kids. Sure, but he wasn't brought in to look after a daycare center and develop every single kid. That's not what top clubs like Chelsea should be doing. We should have a balance, and then there, there can be you know, two, maximum three young players that you develop at one stage. Not an entire squad. It's mad. I want to showcase to you guys. Check this out. Let me just let me take you guys to Alex Goldberg's page. And, you know, th this is this is what people are talking about now. And, and, and I want to show you guys the particular tweet I'm referring to um, so you guys get a better understanding. Let me see if I can bring that. Uh, I think I saw something about Antonio Nusa. Please, Chelsea, Antonio Nusa is a must. Alex has uh, reposted that. And we know, obviously, Alex likes 
the youth project, of course, but check this out. I'm going to show you guys a particular tweet. Hopefully, he's still got that tweet. Um, the, the one that... Uh, here we go. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be very hard for me to see Antonio Nusa in a Spurs shirt. Why? Why, my man, is it going to be hard for you? We've got our house burning at the moment. You're concerned about Antonio Nusa going to Spurs and, and that it's going to be very hard for you. I understand we need experience right now. It's half the reason I want Benzema for striker. It's half, it's half the reason. But I do have FOMO with Nusa. My wingers for next season. Left wing, Modric and Nusa. Right wing, Medweke and Angelo. With Nkunku and Palmer also able to operate out wide. And if you want to bring in a fifth older winger, go ahead. In terms of making sure the team is older and more experienced, you can also do that with when you tar uh, when you target strikers, left backs, center backs, etc. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But this is the wing option that you want to go with next season. Like this is where your 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 attacking engine room is. This is where you want to. Yeah, create and 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 score a lot of goals. Like these players are talented, but putting that much pressure on that lot. See, th this is what I mean. Like, it's incredible. It's incredible how our fan base at times moves in regards to these young players. Like, I, I'm at a point where I can't get excited about it anymore because we just have too many. We have too many. We're getting to a point where. A lot of fans are, are calling for certain young players to be sold who we've not even bought 12 months ago. Do you know what I mean? And replacing them with new young players. And that's what it's going to get to. Buying kids to replace kids. This is the latest, ladies and gentlemen, coming from uh, the Spurs Express, but ultimately from Fabrizio Romano, because Spurs are linked with this particular player. Conversations are ongoing between Tottenham and Club Bruges for Antonio Nusa. There will be a new contract in the next days. Spurs want to sign uh, the player for now and allow him to join in the summer and want to be fast as the race is open. So, look, let's see what happens. I'm not too fast about this situation, if I'm being absolutely honest. Let me know your thoughts in regards to Antonio Nusa, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, according to Sky Germany, 20-year-old, so some striker news now, ladies and gentlemen, 20-year-old Slovenian striker Benjamin Sesko from Red Bull Leipzig has a 50 million release clause in his contract, which is valid from June 30th. Since season 2022-2023, 64 games, 25 goals, four assists. Would you take Benjamin Sesko at Chelsea? Coming from Chelsea transfer. Look, 50 million release clause. Once again, another player that is not proven at the highest level. Like, he's struggling at the moment at Leipzig, if I'm being honest. Like, I think he came from Salzburg, much like that Haaland route. And um, there was a lot of hype about this kid, but slowly sort of died down in recent times. Once again, that this is not what I want for for you know Chelsea striker position. You know, no more experiments in this in this position. We need a lethal weapon, and we're going to talk about obviously Ivan Tony and Victor Osimhen's name's been floating around. Yeah, someone of that caliber, Osimhen or Ivan Tony. It's got to be of that caliber. It cannot be Sesko. It cannot be you know your curious and all of these players that literally have only had one season. And if you want a short-term solution, I've already said Karim Benzema. And we've got a little bit of news in regards to Karim Benzema. Fabrizio Romano and Karim Benzema. At the moment, guys, I'm not aware of any advanced deal or anything concrete with an English club, including with Arsenal, despite various rumours coming from uh, Fabrizio Romano from Court Offside. Look, if there is some way of getting this deal done, Chelsea Football Club. I know this is so ridiculous. I know there is <laughs> there's so many implications behind it, wages and, and, and you know the transfer fee to Al Etihad. But if there is a way to get this done, you get this one done on a short term because this is a lethal weapon. I know he's old, thirty six, but we need experience. We need someone who is capable of banging the goals at the highest level. And who better than Karim Benzema? But I don't know. I don't know whether this is actually plausible. Now, Ivan Tony, ladies and gentlemen, he has made his return and he's already scored a goal. Uh, I believe it was a free kick. I, I, I didn't watch the game. I'm going to try and catch some highlights of it. But people are very, very excited. They saw a complete package uh, in terms of a striker 
uh, not just obviously you know him scoring straight away from a free kick apparently a controversial free kick the ball was displaced or something like that but nonetheless scoring a free kick that's another artillery in his in his skill set but his overall game his link up hold up you know uh, just just not just someone who is excellent in the box but his overall game as a as a striker is fantastic and something that Chelsea Football Club need. Ivan Tony's last two Premier League goals scored 266 days apart, are both free kicks against Nottingham Forest. Excellent. So look, watch this space. You know, Ivan Tony's stocks are only going to keep rising if he's able to continue doing well for Brentford and, and see them survive in the Premier League for another season. It's going to be huge. And he's going to cost a lot of money. 100% he's going to cost a lot of money. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, another player that has left Chelsea Football Club, um, Ian Martin. First assist for Ian Martin as new BVB player. Today, after excellent performance, release clause into his contract at Chelsea um, starting from June, 30, uh, June, uh, June 35 million. Look, Ian Martin, I'm not surprised. I'm absolutely not surprised he's doing well. It, it's it's a club that's going to suit him. I'm just surprised that we've not used him. He's kill, He's going to kill it. He's going to kill it at, at Dortmund, and, um, and I hope he does. Look, I was excited about this player from the get-go. From the time when Frank Lampard used him uh, in the FA Cup, I was excited about him a long time ago, a couple of seasons, maybe three seasons ago, four seasons ago maybe. And... Um, yeah, I hope he does well. You know, height doesn't seem to be an issue for Dortmund, but it was an issue for us. Ridiculous how we haven't been able to use Ian Martin, even when our left backs have been injured. We rather use a CB bar. This is what it is. It is what it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts about everything we talked about. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button if you're here for the first time. Subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Till next time, see you.